What's happening everyone? Back for another video. It's another weekend, another Saturday. It's a busy day. I'm going to jump in here and do a wee bit of lower body training. I've got a client to take a 10 and then I've got a lot of work to do today so I'm just going to bring you along. I haven't really put up any other videos this week YouTube wise because I feel like I haven't been doing anything interesting but maybe it is interesting, I don't know but yeah, we're going to do a lower body workout here and um, see what happens where I say you're coming along. I know that wasn't too exciting uh, intro, but I'm in a rush here. Oh fucking hell. So uh sessions for the day done. I done that lower body session today. That was uh my dynamic session, so it was really just um speed squats and speed deadlifts and added a wee bit of band tension on for some accommodating resistance. Kind of just playing about with that kind of west side style programming. I'm enjoying it so far, it's nice having something to stick to um, and then I just done a few wee accessory movements afterwards like some single leg squats really kind of focusing on being controlled and eccentric good for developing that muscle and beside your knee which is good for preventing ACL injuries and then some reverse hypers which are brilliant for the glutes and the lower back and then I've, I've been boxing now quite a bit um, since our season finished kind of just to fill that void of not having football but it's brilliant training as well like and I think it's a good skill they have but I'm um, really enjoying the training doing that you know two or three times a week at the minute so I was in there today with uh with John who I was training beforehand so he got his own back of me there put me on the pads but it was good like really enjoyed it um shit ton of work to do here today so get back to the house get showered get food and uh get stuck into it so should be okay. Today has been fucking just really, really busy. I haven't even had time to really chat to the camera. 
I have a ton of work to do in the gym here. I'm launching like a basically a 42 day kind of lifestyle challenge with a load of one. So it's a, it's a weight loss challenge first off, but other than that, it's, it's really um, trying to improve habits, you know. It's kind of like a trick, six weeks transformation and it's not as fucking sleazy as a six week transformation. Um, so I've been meeting up with everyone that's doing it there yesterday and uh, last night. And uh, after have to repair stuff for that, but there's a bigger group than I assumed was going to be doing it, which is great, but it's just a wee bit, a wee bit stressful in terms of the have to get everything planned and organized. I want to make sure everyone has a good a good time and a good experience, you know, I want it to be the best thing possible. So it's a wee bit stressful in that sense. And then today I just launched the QSC preseason online programming through Instagram. Um, it's all on Instagram, sign up and all, but basically it's just a, uh, it's a pre-season program for anyone that's that's maybe doing Gaelic or something that just wants a bit of training. Um, and I've kind of tried to do it at, at two different sort of pricing options to make it as affordable to people as possible. Because ultimately, I want to try and work with as many people as I can. And I'm, as much as, yeah, and like, yeah, I am charging for it. But I've tried to make two options that make it feasible for everyone and make it feasible for my time. Because I want to work with as many people as possible and help as many people as possible. So um, that was launched today there on Instagram. And I'm going to keep trying to pump out some stuff for that. Um, and I'm going up to meet two other ones that are doing this uh, 42 day challenge. challenge. Um, and then I've got uh, the prep work to do for the six week challenge, so building the program and figuring out how the sessions are going to run. As I said, there's more people on the gym, so that's going to be tough to work out. And then I'm doing a fucking masters at the minute as well. I don't even think I've, I've said that on this page yet, but we'll chat more about that later. I need to get this shit sorted here first. What's happening? Sunday morning. Um, got all my work and stuff, and they read it up yesterday, which was good. And then I uh, chilled out last night. Um, so today I'm going running. This is like a wee forest that's pretty close to the house. So going to do a wee run around there. I started doing a bit of kind of off-season running now. Not really too much science behind it, to be honest. I'm just picking particular routes, and each week I go out and trying to do it in a faster time, not overcomplicating anything with it. Um, and to be honest, it's it's. It's nice being able to be in the position now when you're doing a football that you can go out and do this training that you, you enjoy um, and not have to think too much about it. Sometimes when football's on, you're always worrying about training and should you do this, should you not do that and what energy system should you be working. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this part part of the season. So, going out, going to run around here and then uh, got a bit of other stuff to do today, but I thought I'd take you around this run with me. So, I'm tracking my run on... Uh, this here, map my run. Used it the last time, it's pretty good, pretty easy to use. So, track on that and then uh, playing 10 shifting on Spotify. Don't even know what sort of distance this will be. This is the first time I'm going around this, just as a continuous slip. I used to do it in intervals, so it's gonna be fun. Actually wasn't as long as I remembered it. It was only 2.12 miles the loop. I used to do it in like used to do intervals and hill runs and stuff with it. Um but still still a good V run. Um so took me 15 minutes, 24 seconds, average pace is seven minutes fourteen per mile. Which I'm kinda happy enough with considering it's a lot of uphills and downhills and it's mucky and stuff. The fastest pace I got to was uh 455 pretty happy with that um, but maybe another day I'll do two laps out there I actually thought it was gonna be longer it's a bit anticlimactic but still when anything it's good just to go get a sweat up and time yourself or something like that and you can go back and test again and although you probably want to be doing more distance it's still good to have a gauge where you're at when you go and beat it you know that you're getting fitter you're getting better at running so we simple things like that can be really important for pre-season 
I'm uh, kind of tempted to go and do something else because uh, I didn't take as long as I assume so. Might go somewhere and do a wee bit of pump stuff, maybe in the gym. Um, don't want to go to the gym because I cleaned it yesterday and my feet are all mucky now. So we'll go somewhere else and do it their place. But uh, I'm enjoying running. There's a really good feeling you get after it. I'll just need to build that up to maybe doing two laps eventually or I'll start getting back to the kind of interval work I did on. Like I used to do it with hill sprints and um, used to do different intervals on it. So it would have been a lot more than that. But it's nice doing the loop, getting the time right now and then hopefully a couple of weeks, a couple of months to go back and uh, do it again and be able to smash it. Try and do it maybe every week, you know, probably try and do, probably try and do two runs a week during the week and then a Sunday and then unboxing now two or three times a week. And then doing weights four or five times. I'm a pro athlete that isn't very good at anything in particular. Wrapping this vlog up here, uh, I know it was a kind of random one, but I'm trying to always put out one video at least every week as, as well as some of the other things I'm putting out, so I started it so I wanted to finish it, but um, yeah, it just gives you an idea of what happens over the weekend, just really busy at the minute with stuff. As I say, I started the Masters there, um, so I'm doing the Masters of Strength and Condition up at Jordanstown, um, and I'm really excited for it, but it's really only hitting me now how much work's actually involved in it. And uh, so much of it is online as well now that you, you just have to be, you have to be doing it yourself. No one's sitting telling you to do it. So it's just something else that's been added on the plate, which is good. But it's it's busy at the minute and just busy with different things and trying to deal with the stress of that is interesting and trying to get time for everything and, and get priorities is it's a it's a challenge. It's on you're kind of just picking up as you go along. Like, but yeah, that's the. Uh, that's this weekend wrapped up. Um, hope you enjoyed that there. I think the next vlog I'll, I'll I'm having to think about goals for preseason and um, what I want to kind of achieve by the time next season starts and, and what the plan will look like. So I'll give you an idea of that in the next uh, next vlog. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. As always, you know, subscribe, um, like these videos because it does help me out. It keeps me um, keeps me wanting to put out more whenever there's a good response to them. But um, I hope that's helping someone out there. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.